near me. Um, there's no one here at the moment, so I'll just wait a few minutes. I'll, uh, I fancy doing a lot, little kind of live um, beer review for a change out in the garden. There's a bit of shade at the moment, the sun's just about to come round, so and it's not m major kind of warm or anything like that. Um, but yeah, let me just uh, move that a second so I can see a little bit. Uh, let me just, oh, let me do this. I'm not used to this sort of stuff. Uh, I'll leave it like that. Just about C. Anyway, so the beer. I've had it a little while, um, and this is the uh, the Colonel out of London, and then this is their Pale Ale Citra. This one's coming in at 5.1% ABV. Um, yeah, thought I'd give it a go. Um, I've, I've had this one, actually. I bought two when I bought this one. Um, so it's bottled on the 15th of February. It's got a best before the 15th of June, so of 2021. Um, yeah, single hopped pale ale um, and a nice 500 ml bottle, which is kind of all you want, really. See, we've got someone watching. Uh, can you hear me? Am I, my audio doing okay? If you could let us know, that'd be great. And I don't know how this works because I've never really done it before on my phone, I don't think. Uh, right, it is on, so. Anyway, let's crack it open, silver bottle cap. Uh, out of Bermondsey, I think it's Bermondsey, or South, Southwark, South, South Walk. I can't pronounce it. Got, just got this, uh, it's just easier to uh, bring out a key, rolling a big old bottle opener. Fancy an afternoon beer. Hopefully you can hear me. If not, I'll take the um, I'll take the mic off if it's not working or whatever. That was my only concern that it was not going to work. Can you hear me? All right, uh, Raggy. Because I've got this mic on and stuff, trying to take out a little bit of background noise. But um, yeah, nice clean glass as usual. I do. So if you can hear me, let me know. Um, one finger, if that, or little finger of white head, quite tight, um, very kind of orangey get into the sunlight you can kind of get an idea oh good thanks um because i've only got my phone i've not done this on my phone before outside now i've got a like a, um, a mobile phone contract i'm going to use a bit of data why not i fancy the beer just one just a lunchtime thing um but yeah anyway the colonel brewery i actually checked on untapped how many beers i've had from or check-ins on untapped that i've actually done um because I was like, oh, I've been drinking 74 check-ins I've had. Whether that means anything or not. But they have got 512 beers they brewed that are listed on Untapped. Um, I mean, admittedly, a lot of that within the style is very kind of um, different hops, different varieties of hops, combinations, etc. Each one's got a different thing. And anyway, it's back to the beer, waffling on. So, yeah, I mean, it's as you'd expect, really. Quite nice, light citrus, nothing cr crazy sharp. And we were outside, so you're probably not getting the full kind of aroma as you what you'd get indoors or whatever. There's enough there to keep you interested. A little bit of uh, grapefruit. Light citrus and pale stone fruits, kind of, kind of jazz. Smells nice, like an all pale ale should. So, just see, I'll put that there so we can see that's better. Anyway, cheers, cheers, Raggy. Yeah. Nice, easy drinking beer. Um, light citrus as I was getting on the nose. May have fallen off slightly, but 
it's still within its uh, prime. I mean, the, the thing with the kernel is, I don't know if you can see that, but you can, they always have a bit of uh, sediment at the bottom, you can't really see it. Perhaps you can, see that line, that pale kind of, just above the bottom of the beer. Um, I mean, these brewery, this brewery was doing that before anyone else. Um, hazy stuff, you know, back in like 2010. That was my first introduction to, apart from the odd, you know, Belgian beers and stuff, in the UK at least, um, my first introduction to uh, hazy beer. Um, Cloudwater weren't even around then, you know, Brewdog were just starting, that kind of, that kind of thing. Um, but the beer is a very decent beer, um, as you'd expect, they always are. Fallen off slightly, but it still blags a flavour. Um, and they're really well priced as well. Hi Vanessa, how you doing? Sorry if I've missed any comments, I don't... Because um, the comments come up and then they kind of fade away. So, I um, hope you keep them well. Um, yeah, just fancied a, a lunchtime beer in the UK so um, just fancied one just to you know it's a nice day it's slightly warmer although it's still pretty chilly in the shade hence I've got this jacket on that kind of deal but um, but yeah so a bit about the brewery then while I'm here while I'm live um, the, or after the fact um, so it says the, the London Borough of Suff Suffolk, South, South Walk. I can't pronounce that word, it's probably not how you pronounce it. So you have, I mean, I assume that's part of Bermondsey. Um, the brewery springs from need to have more good beer. Um, beer deserving of a certain attention. Uh, this is beer that forces you to confront and consider what you are drinking. Upfront hops, lingering bitterness, warm alcohols, bodies of malt. Um, Lengths and depths of flavour. We make pale ales, IPAs, and old school London porter stouts towards the, the these ends. Bottles alive to give them time to grow. And so I think it's around about. I think it's 2010. They first. Um, well, they're one of the, one of the first kind of what you ever call craft beer breweries. I don't know what you know whatever that is. Um, but it's only one of the first of, of the new kind of or the modern kind of brewery if you like um, and it's one of the first kind of breweries that I first kind of tried um, picked up a few bottles at the bottle shop um, along with Beaver Town uh, and Weird Beard I don't know if they were around then actually um, I think it was the Colonel first that I, I ever tried and then I think then they were a few years later um, so yeah but there's not much information about just checking here, so I've got no internet. Oh, there's a bit of internet, that's surprising. There's not much information about this beer on tapped. I mean, all, all the information you get is is pretty much, it's very kind of, uh, I don't know if that's focusing or not, but at least it gives you the dates, the bottled on dates. Is that the right way around? That way. Gives you all the dates and stuff. See, the sun's coming around now. Um, but yeah, nice 500 mil bottle, but, and I love the design, it's simple not in your face because they don't need to be i think this is a perfect example of it's not always um what things look like that oh i might try that because of the label um i think the kernel is probably the exception that you know goes away from that um it, it, what's more important to them is what's in the bottle um, and what's in your glass which is great Got builders over there. One of my mates is having his garden done. And he literally backs onto me, so be going around there over the weekend, having, having a having a cup of tea. I'll be taking my daughter, so. Again, in the sunlight there. So I mean, those are luminous. That's more of an idea of what it looks like. But yeah, overall, really nice beer. I'd imagine it's very early in the morning, or if you're at work in the UK, it's your lunchtime or whatever. I'm not expecting too many folk. 
at this time. Unless you're having a breakfast beer in the States. I'd imagine it's what, half past eight, east coast. There we go. Poured most of it in. I left a little bit at the bottom. And I'll try and show you that sediment in a minute. But but yeah, nice 500ml bottle and a really well priced. Um, I bought these during lockdown in March, early March, from Little Swift in Margate. All the information will be down below. There's a playlist um, for this brewery and um, English craft beers, all that sort of stuff. And I've actually got a London craft beer or London beer playlist, or whatever it's called, if you're more interested in anything um, from the London area. So, anyway, yeah, easy drinking. Little sparrows chirping up there with the old honeysuckle. It's in something, a cat or something. It's giving it a bit. Could be a sparrow. We get sparrows around here quite a lot. Whiz through the gardens and just sort of take them off, you know, the old surprise element and stuff. So they, that's one of the reasons, really, I haven't really chopped down this. I was going to chop all this down. This, well, not even spring, before spring, it's a bit late now. But uh, this, um, this garden really needs to sort out. I'll pay £10 an hour, Raggy, if you, if you want to come down. <laughs> but, um, he's not happy about something. I reckon there's a cat somewhere. Quite amusing. Um, what else is going on today? Not much really. Um, parents just had their second jab about half an hour ago. We had a nurse come in and sort that out for them, so that's good. Um, Going to be doing a live tonight from about 8 o'clock. Um, most people join sort of half hour, sort of 8.30 to 9. So, but I think there's a few people that are busy work etc this weekend so um, it might not be a full panel well it won't be a full panel but it might it might be one or two other faces we'll have to wait and see how it pans out there's no kind of um structure it just it is what it is let it run um but yeah could do with it warming up a bit we could do a bit of rain we we're supposed to have rain the other night here and uh it, it, the, the most we got, it got cloudy and dark, dark clouds, and it, it never done anything. So we've still not had any rain. We haven't had any rain for a good six weeks, I reckon, down here. We just don't get rain. So it's a bit, you know. It's like one of the deals when we do get rain, it rains a lot. Um, it hasn't, hasn't really. We keep, we always have floods in the UK. It's like, oh, it's floods and this and that. And then a few weeks later, it's all, well, we were in droughts, your hose pipe banned, you can't wash your car, you can't do this. It's like, well, where's all the water gone? You know. So I'm going to stay until the duration of this beer. Because I fancy doing it. Fancy the chat. Although I'm doing one later, it's still... It's still different, and I'm glad it's working as well, and it's showing me bits and bats. So it's the first time I've used my mobile doing a, doing a live re review, or not whether you call it review or not, I don't know. But um, let's pour this sediment in. It's all kind of hazy and stuff, so it should cloud up a little bit. I mean, a lot of people, it's up to you. It's coming off the bottom all right. See, the sun's coming out now. It's coming round. I've got this big... You'd love this, Raggy, if you're there. Um, I'm sorry if I've missed any comments again. Um, we bought a little kind of sh shrub, and it was, it was only supposed to grow about, I don't know, three or four feet, if not not even that, about two or three feet. I don't know how long ago it was, a long time. I reckon it was probably 12, 13 years ago. Now it's about, that's what it was sold as. Now it's about, I don't know, I reckon it's about 15 foot high. You know what I mean? Um, I don't know what happened, but they sold us the wrong one. We just let it grow. But it's just starting to uh, 
It's interesting, it's like a fern type. One side of it's fine, the other side's starting to go kind of brown and stuff, so I'll have to wait and see, see what, what that's all about. But um, loads of buddly, we've got a few buddlies around, bring the old butterflies in, which is nice. Um, this year we've had a, a real load of, a lot of dandelions come up, more than normal, um, which is nice. And a few other bits and bats that are growing there. I've got a moth trap over there I actually want to start running this year and teach my daughter some moths that come into the trap egg cartons and stuff and i've got a lead in that that already runs through it's already out there um, but i haven't done i haven't done that for about oh, 10 years now 10 yeah nine ten years i used to do it a lot wake up in the morning block the trap up move it into the shade and then empty it out and then see what, you know, sometimes you get hawk moths in there and stuff. I'll let them all go. It's not nothing like that. It's just, uh, or take photos and stuff like that. So it's another one of my, uh, an old interest I used to have, obviously the, with uh, being a, a bird watcher as well, and that not that kind of birds, but, um, you know. Yeah, I, 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 yeah. I appreciate that part of it, but, but yeah, that, and that's it. You know, we're all human and all that. So, did I pull that in? I'm too busy waffling away. I did say proper English. Oh, it's 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 a bit of a shithole to be fair. Um, I mean, my neighbours they've got a really great garden. They, they grow stuff, and that's what I want to do. That one's really nice. That one's really nice. This one ain't. It's just one of them. Um, but it, it does attract quite a lot. I mean, the sparrows have. The house sparrows of about 10 years ago they really declined um i don't know if they had a, like a disease or something and then the last three or four years they've really kind of increased the sun's coming around now uh, which is great um, the trouble is with the only downside around here we've got so many cats um and that, that's a bit of a i'm not i mean the cats are all right i'm not a lover of them but uh so it's kind of stopping me from feeding the birds because it's going to get catted, you know. It, with all the undergrowth and that, they, you could put some feeders out. You'd have a cat underneath this bush. So it's like, uh, both neighbours feed them, so it's, at least they're getting their food. It's more open both sides, so they can see the cats. Um, but yeah, we've got four people watching. Cheers for joining. Um, just fancied doing something different for a change. Anyway, let's pour this sediment in. Um, it's going to cloud up. There might be a few floaties. It's definitely clouding up. There you go. Look at that. Which is more akin to what it would look like um, if you. Well, would it be that hazy on draft? Probably not, actually. Um, during, especially during. Well, certainly if you've got a bottle. Um, let's see if what it does for the aroma and taste then. Yeah, it's, it's kind of flatted out the, uh, the citra a little bit, which I often find them on my break now. I, did, I missed it, sorry. All oh, right, yeah, we only break 15 minutes, cool. I'm just waffling away. Cheers, Raggy, have a good break. I don't want to waste up your time. Yeah, I thought I'd do something live. Um... Hope you're doing well, James. Hi, Jules. Of a separate. Uh, yeah, um, yeah. You moved, didn't you? Yeah. Yeah. I'm sorry that it's. Uh, I suppose you'll get used to it in time, but um, he's planted a thousand dailies today. Yeah, right. Is that a daily event? Poor. Um, yeah, and there we go. I'm sure he does. Right, back to what's it taste like? I've had a sip already and didn't even say nothing. It's got more body. I think it, that the yeast adds a little bit more body to it. It smooths it out. 11 months. Is it 11 months already you've, you've during your new place? Can't be, is it? I don't know what's going on with time. I mean, especially in the last 
few kind of mumps and stuff. Only seedlings, but got many thousands still. You've run out of pots. Oh, flipping heck. Well, I'm not surprised you've done a thousand. Oh, to go until you move. See, I, I thought you moved. I don't know. You have to forgive me. I get confused quite easily these days. Um, let me just... Uh, I was checking the time. I'm all right. I'll probably go till two and then, uh, then I'll clear off. So 20 minutes in already. Longest review ever. Um, but it's fun. Get all these pop-ups on here now. That's on my um, notification things and all that sort of stuff. Um, so what's everyone else? Raggy's on his break. Jules, what are you up to? Anything? I hope no one phones me. You've had this before, haven't you, Raggy? Someone phones you halfway through. Are you going back? See, I'd... that's all right. You've got something to look forward to, you know? I suppose you had to get out, didn't you? Where, you know, that house you were at. Um... I've never had a new Barnes, so... Never had a new Barnes. Many times. Never, had, no, I've never. Um, I mean, it's on my kind of brewery to try list, if that makes sense. Oh wow! Today. Oh, that's that's going to be great. Oh wow! Well, have they come up to um, New England or New England, New Hampshire? Isn't it? Is it New Hampshire? I get confused with them and Massachusetts actually. Um, yeah, I mean, it's, it's definitely on the radar, James. Um, uh, now we're coming out of, it's, it, it, we're doing, with touch wood, we're doing really good. Oh, they live oh, 45, so, 45 minutes south of you in New Hampshire, okay. Are you in, so New Hampshire, are you in, so I don't know, I, I, I always get forget what, what states are, I know it borders, Massachusetts, but I don't know if it's north or south. I don't know. I don't know if, yeah. Don't, hopefully, you have a, well, you'll have a good time, so that's going to be great. Oh, right. Nice. Yeah. Is that Kane? Halfway, right. Oh, that'd be good. That'd be good. So. Right north, yeah. I know it's, I know it's the general ballpark, but... I thought it was, but... Northeast. Yeah. Well, this is um, very easy drinking. They filmed Jumanji there. Oh, okay. Don't tell my daughter that, she'll want to go. <laughs> yeah. She's come out of a random one a few weeks back. She goes, Daddy, I want to go to Texas. I don't know what she's been watching. Just a random one. Texas. Oh, you're in southwest New Hampshire, okay. Yeah, I want to, oh, Daddy, I want to go to Texas. Why? No, I just want to go. I mean, if I want, if I went to Texas, I want to go to Boca Chica and see one of them launch one of them uh, starships. That'll be uh, that'll be on my to-do list. Um, my just quite near the Mexican border and all that sort of area. I just don't, I don't get it either, Jules. It's just. Uh, comes out of these random things. I want to go, I mean, I'm surprised you even knew what Texas is. I want to go to Texas. God knows. Mind boggles sometimes, you can't, the randomness of children sometimes. It's great and also kind of, you, you're questioning, what are you, what the hell are you watching? <laughs> Funny. Anyway, back to the beer, I guess. As is a beer review. Quite light carbonation, um, nice medium body, 
been there. My daughter's graduated boot camp there. San Antonio, right, yeah. Yeah, we're Boca Chica. It's, SpaceX are doing that. That They're building... Well, they're, I think eventually they're going to build a, like a proper city. There's a, a large white butterfly flying around over there, which is cool. A couple of bees having a scrap. Um, a few hoverflies as well. So there's a bit of warmth. It's enticing a few things out in this little sun trap. But being near the coast, it can get absolutely... Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. That thought, that thought went through my mind. It's probably because I keep wearing a hat. I hope it's my influence. She's like, where, do, where do people wear hats? Texas. I want to go Texas. I'm hoping so, anyway. There's the old white butterfly. What's that? Oh, it's a wasp. Yeah, great. Fuck off, you bastard. Go away. It's after this. See, it's sweet. I'll do one, will you? I'm not even attacking you. I will do if you just carry on. Don't end up stinging me. This would be good, wouldn't it? Get stung live on... Fuck off. It's in your best interest. You might sting me, but you'll die. Oh, fucking do one, will you? I'm not even going near you. Go away, that's how I'll leave it alone. What, to sting you? That's it, it's gone. Good. Um, yeah, it's just... Uh, I remember when I was younger, my granddad said, oh, wasps will be fine. If you don't touch them, and you'll, you'll be fine. And I was like, okay then. Trusted him like you do. I was like, ah, oh, there's a wasp around me. I was like, okay. Oh, it's landed on you. Okay, uh, I'm not touching it. It went down my bloody... the back of my collar. Down halfway down my back, can stung me. Yeah, I left it alone. See, I've, I've done what I was told, and I got stung. So, but that is, apparently is the right way. I mean, that didn't work that time. But when you're a kid, it's like uh, it did hurt. And then he goes, "Ah, oh, it's just, it's just a little sting. <laughs> just a little sting." Um, yeah. Cheers. How are we doing for time? Ah, quarter, quarter, it's only quarter to two. So this is definitely my longest... Yeah, I, I, they, they can be. What I found is they're more aggressive in the autumn when they're kind of like on the edge of death, basically. Um, I think, is, it, is it a bit bumblebees are fine? Because if they sting you, then they die. But I ain't got a problem with bumblebees. I love them. I think they're great. Wasps are. They've obviously got their purpose, but just a little knife wound. Yeah. Nah, he left me alone that time. I think it's more of an autumn thing, and they they get a little bit docile, and but they, if they get agitated, then that's it. They just sting. You're doing well, Paul. By the way. Um, are you drinking at the moment? What are you at? Just finished work to sort the kids out for school, whatever. That's gone down really easy actually. Just drinking away. Really nice. Nice little, um, just one beer, 5.1, nothing crazy. Just a really solid Citra Pale Ale from the Colonel. Anyone who's come in. So, uh, uh, had the wasp attack me, um, I, just, I just had to strip down, okay, um, backyard, it's gone away again, I can't read it all, it's gone. See, I don't know um, how this, live chat, top chat, no, it just doesn't let me um, read it, it's annoying, sorry, <laughs> shorter messages are better. I got the bit where you had to strip down, and that was that, that's you know that's as far as I got. Um, are you finishing IPA? All right, cool. You're gonna have a double IPA soon. Nice. This is the lunchtime beer. Just fancy one, just to shoot the shit. See what people are at, at their times of day, wherever you are. Um, 
and then I'll be live later on. Um, 50 times you were stung. Wow. I mean, you're obviously not allergic to them then. At least that's, that's the only positive you get out of that, I guess. Got to run. Yeah. Cheers. Cheers, Raggy. Take care. Sorry about the sting. Yeah. Yeah. So, yeah, I'll be live later on at 8 o'clock uh, UK time. So, it'll be like 3, 3 East Coast. Um, I think a few people, I mean, we're opening up a little bit over here now and a combination of that. And so, people are going to outdoor drinkings and pubs and stuff. Um, 15th of uh, May is when the pubs open proper in the UK. Well, certainly in England. I don't know. I don't know what Wales, Northern Ireland, or Scotland are at. I uh, went to a family reunion covered in white baking soda paste. Oh dear. Um, so yeah, the pubs are open, but it's outdoor dining only as well, and all that sort of stuff. So, which is good. But um, touch wood, the numbers at the moment are pretty, uh, pretty good. You know, to be fair, around about two thousand per day. Um, and all that sort of stuff. Anyway, that's enough about that. Gets on your nerves, doesn't it, after a while. It's nice to have somewhere to go where you don't talk about or hear about all that, so I do get that. But it just comes up, doesn't it? it just, you're chatting to people and, you know, it can be a bit um, too much, but that's a positive. I don't mind talking about the positives of it, I'm, unlike other parts of the world. Yeah, at the moment, it's horrendous, but what can you do? Send them positive thoughts and, and all that sort of stuff. Uh, listen to Lone Star's infamous white... I can't even pronounce that. Ah, OK. I don't know if I'm subbed or not. I think I am. I just don't have time to watch everything. And, and these days, I don't stay up mega late like I kind of used to. Um, I used to be always in the... Uh, I think last, last Friday I went on to... It was an offline chat, and I was a bit drunk, and, you know, drinking for a few hours. Ah, right. Cool, so it's 10 to now. 10 to 9, or 10 to 2 in the UK. So it's not too bad, I'll give it another 10 minutes. I've got this little bit left, and then I'll clear off. Um, they're chirping up again. What's going on? I had a few buzzards over earlier. I seem to be breeding locally now. Crazy, really. We went back to 20 years ago. It was, a, it was a half decent thing to see. You good for a chat Saturday evening? I've got a. Um, I'll be on Instagram. Uh, a friend, good friend, uh, Instagram live. Um, Rasco and Disco on Instagram. I'll be on that from 10. UK time. I don't know how long it'll last. A couple of hours, maybe. Might be around after that. Um, so that'll be what? Seven? Probably seven ish your time. Yeah, I mean, they're just chirping, they're not singing or nothing. It's just. Uh, it's the wrong time of day for them properly singing. It's normally morning or early mornings and evenings. That sort of stuff. Are you, is that to me? I'll pick it. Sorry to Paul. Um, it's weird having some sunshine on the face. It's just being stuck in all the time. It's like, yeah, I come out. The sun's moving round past this tree now, so I've got this hat. Good old hat. I'm going to wear this in the summer as well. Yeah. I swear I'll wear it wherever I go now. Um, yeah, as I said earlier, it's, um, I could hang them, it's wrong, it's not so essential for them these days, or these days, this, this time of year, coming into the spring months, summer. Um, we got, I will, I've been wanting to do it, I just, uh, this winter I was too kind of in that, I still am to a degree a bit of a fog zombie person, still kind of, 
uh, rabbit in headlights. It was my granddad's, so yeah. I mean, what? He, when did he pass away? Oh, about whenever swine flu was. How you doing? How you doing, Brett? Hope you're keeping well, my friend. I fancy the, just a going live, just a random. I'm only having one beer, nothing crazy. Got to pick my daughter up from school in about, well, about an hour or so. Just fancy coming on, having one beer, drinking the Colonel. Pale Ale Citra. It's a bit of glare now with the sun coming round. <laughs> um... Yeah, so uh, it's been a bit of a, a weird I've got I don't know about steel toe caps hopefully as well. You need you know I used to wear steel toe caps all the time. Good mate sounds like uh they're just having a chill beer in the sun. Yeah. Yeah, I make the most of it, absolutely. Um, although it's been sunny, in fairness, it's been sunny pretty much every day for the last... I mean, the other day we had a cloudy day, and it was proper... When was that? Wednesday. Out with a mate, like, so it was absolutely proper freezing here anyway. But we get our own weather in this part of the world. Sort of East Kent, North East Kent, as far as you can go, North East Kent. Um, there's been a North Easterly breeze and stuff, and it's, it was absolutely freezing cold. Everywhere else had was having rain. We just had cloud and cold, cool winds off the North Sea. And it's just by the time of year, it's so cold. It's all right in the sun. You get in the shade with the breeze. It's proper flipping taters. I've done that, so I can't even remember. So I've got that much left of a 500 ml bottle, and then I'll uh, I'll clear off. Let you go on about your day. We'll, Appreciate you all watching and stuff. Um, this time of day is a bit tricky. Uh, we had proper rain. Yeah, I saw that. Yeah, nice. I know there was some thunderstorms. Just I don't know if you got them or not. Might be too far east, but I know down um, Dorset way. Um, they they had uh, they had a bit of a f you know heavy proper heavy stuff. We don't we get them now and again when it when it goes it goes. But the amount of times we missed the rain here on this corner. Um, yeah, it's like here in East Anger, I think the driest places in, in England, so, is what it is. They're getting more up north, don't they, so, uh, back to this beer then, what am I getting now? Just really easy drinking, I've got sediment in there now, so it's smoothed out a little bit. A little bit of citrus bite, nothing crazy. Um, no, you did have thunder and lightning. See, so yeah, yeah, Bourne, yeah, there's more to the to the west, yeah. Bournemouth's a nice place. I actually like Weymouth. I think Weymouth is really not lovely part of like, lovely part of Dorset. Well, Dorset's a lovely county anyway, but but um, visited a few times. Portland, Chisel, Chisel Cove, uh, is it Chisel? Yeah, Chisel Cove, just to the west there. Um, Yeah, soak up the sun. Yeah, lighten up. Exactly. Um, I do. <laughs> you got to keep smiling. You've got to. Bit of sunshine helps. Let's get to the point now. I'm getting, I'm getting too hot. So, there you go. Bit of vitamin D going on. That's it, really. Just, just finish this little bit. They're not breeding up there, are they? Surely not. Not that we, we had a pair of herring gulls on the roof for. They've been up there. They've been around for about fifteen years. They breed every year. About a few years ago, the neighbour put like um, over the chimney pot. They put this kind of mesh structure 
and, and dome, so they couldn't nest it. Last year they nested there. He's up there now, so I'm wondering what the hell's going on. They, they, they get to the point where they're attacking people with the young and stuff. I don't mind it, but you know what people are like. Hmm, have to wait and see about that one. We're going 40 minutes, a ridiculous amount of time for one beer. That's it. But yeah, overall, this is a very easy drinking beer. Um, I'd say it's more than halfway through its shelf life, but it's still in date. Um, really, really decent, decent beer, decent brewery, as you'd expect. I've got one or two others in the fridge from the Colonel Brewery in London. I think I've got their um, beer de saison citra, although well, it's from last year, so it's, I don't know how that's going to pan out. Um, I don't. I don't know if it's in date. It might not even be in date. So I don't like reviewing beers that are out of date because I don't. It, I mean, not that it should matter so much now, but when I was given a score, I never used to. Uh, I never used to. Um, what's the word? I can't even remember. There you go. <laughs> That's what I was going to say. Yeah, if I'm not. Uh, rating anymore then out of date beers shouldn't really matter for reviewing but if I was given a, a rating out of date beers for me it's not really kind of personally I don't think it's too fair on the brewery because at the end you've you kept it too long or you didn't check the dates and all that sort of stuff uh, it's not, I don't think it's fair that's just me of course um, anywho it's been a really nice little chat and a few people watching the stuff, which is nice. Leaving a nice lace and all that, that kind of jazz. So, probably gonna knock it on the head in a minute. Um, have some chewing gum. Freshen the old breath up from alcohol, and then go to the school, pick my daughter up. So, it's just nice just being outside oh, like this and uh, hearing the world pass by. A few people out there and sunbathing, I think. A bit of workman going on. That's it, really. A few sparrows chirping. A bit of humping going on in the spring. Uh, yeah, that kind of thing. Anyway. Overall, really nice beer. Um, of course, I mean, if this was around again, or if it was on draft anywhere, I would be buying this for sure. It's um, it's a lovely beer. Or if they brew this again, it'd be fantastic. Or they do this in like IPA form as well. Uh, single hops is it's probably one of the best breweries to, if you're in the UK, of course. Um, if you want to learn your hops, single hopped kind of beers, um, then I would say the Colonel Brewery are probably the best for that representation of a single hop beer, whether it be a pale ale, IPA, or whatever. Um, really, really uh, more pale beers. They're the ones to go for, I think. Um, and the ABV varies with each batch, you know, point here or point there, or whatever. So I recommend them um, if you get hold of them. Um, but yeah, only available in the UK, unfortunately. But, but yeah, great stuff. Plain Jane label. Great brewery. Anyway, let's finish this. Without blinding myself in the sun. And I will leave it there. Um, thanks for watching. Really appreciate it. So if you're around tonight, um, or if you watch this, um, it might not be of any use, but on the 30th of April of 2021, i done this. And yeah, a bit of vitamin D indeed. Uh, indeed, indeed. Um, so if you're around later, um, from 8 o'clock UK time, you can work out the time difference. Um, yeah, join us for a bit of a chat, a bit more of this. 
Um, bit more beer drinking. Not, I'm not going to go crazy tonight. I say that every week, but we have to see how, sometimes you're just not in the mood for it and it kind of tails off. And like, uh, Other times, like, oh, I'm not going to drink and then you end up drinking too much. Or I do. It's weird, isn't it? Sometimes you just mood, your mood changes even when you start drinking to the end. You've had enough some nights and other nights you're like, oh, I fancy a drink tonight and then you get to that point and then actually I'm not, not don't want it. It's weird. We're all moody, I guess. Anyway, thanks for watching. I really appreciate it. Um, hopefully I'll see you later and uh, yeah, you take care. Keep safe. Cheers. How do you turn this off now? Is it that one? All right, bye.